This is how the private contractors or private developers um, treat our ancient um, cultural sites and, and uh, native uh, Kanaka Maoli lands. And this is how they treat our aina. It's ridiculous. This is what we have to do with every day, um, desecrating our culture. One of the best ways to, I guess, uh, subdue a culture was to eliminate their language. And um, it was abolished, it was against the law, to teach Hawaiian in the school. This is where we live. This is where our families come from for years and years and years. And it's like the Western way, they're not respecting our way of life anymore. It's like the government is like, you know, is allowing these things to happen. You know, allowing the lands to be sold, and then we, we, you know, you come upon signs that says no trespassing. And that's, that's where we, you know, the, the places that we would fish and, and gather from the mountain, we've done that all our lives. Our land, and our spiritual beliefs are all one and the same. They can't be separated. No, you just get it from, like, they're in political science. People don't need to be rehabilitated through programs. They need to be rehabilitated through the very entity that was taken away, which in our case as Native people, is the land. If land was our mother, which she is, then land continues to be our mother, so give it back to us. For sovereignty, it's important just for life also to get back in touch with nature and know how important it is for worry about the ocean, worry about the forest, worry about the water that's flowing under this ground. We need to be conscious. We need to care about nature. We need to reconnect with nature and our culture at the same time. <laughs> 